Welcome to Excel Business Statistical Analysis video number 20. And in this video, we're going to learn how to create joint probability tables. And you're not going to believe how easy it is to create joint probability tables, especially compared to how we did it in the old days. Now in our Excel workbook on the sheet V20, let's talk about joint probability tables. By the way, these notes are also over in the PDF notes. Now here's an example of a joint probability table built from this survey data. A random survey of 200 Americans were asked whether they use Facebook or YouTube. And a joint probability table lists one variable in the column, YouTube, one variable in the row, Facebook. The inside of the joint probability table shows an AND logical test probability or a joint probability. The probability that someone uses Facebook and they don't use YouTube, 11%. Off to the side and below, these are the marginal probabilities or single condition probabilities. That's the probability from this data set that a randomly selected American does not use Facebook. This is the probability that a randomly selected person in the United States uses YouTube. We can also use a joint probability table to calculate other types of probabilities like conditional probability and an or logical test probability. Now the goal in this video is to create two joint probability tables, one from a table of data and one from a pre-calculated cross-tab frequency distribution. Now we'll start out with the data set. Click in one single cell in the data set. Go up to Insert Pivot Table. Or we can use our keyboard, Alt-N-V-T. And we're going to put this existing 08. Click OK. And the amazing thing about a pivot table for a joint probability table is it's as if they built this feature just for statisticians to create joint probability tables. We drag Facebook down to rows. Instantly, we get a unique list. YouTube over to columns. Instantly, we get a unique list. Adjust the column widths as needed. Then we drag any one of these text fields down to values. It defaults to a count. That's our cross-tab frequency distribution. Now we need to compare every number to that 200. So right click, show values as, percent of grand total. And that is amazing. A few clicks, and we have what we want are AND probabilities and marginal probabilities. Now, if you don't like the percentage number formatting, right click, Number Format, and Apply General. Click OK. I'm going to Control Z and leave it with percentages. Now let's scroll down. Sometimes you're given a cross tab with the frequencies, and you want probabilities. Well, we're just going to copy this, Control C and click a few cells below, Control V. We have all of the labels and formatting. But inside, I'm going to delete the numbers. And in the top left cell, we're going to build a spilled array formula. And this is where Microsoft 365 blows away the formula methods that we used to do to create these types of tables equal sign and highlight the full rectangular range of all the individual counts and the total. And then we divide by the total. Because there are many items in the numerator, it'll just take every one of those numbers and divide by 200. And when I hit Enter, it spills the results. Remember, the formula only lives in the top cell. All the other cells are grayed out. Now, these are formulas. And if you want percentages, you have to highlight all the cells. That's different than a pivot table where you just right click one cell. And now we're going to use our keyboard, Control-1, to open up Format Cells. We can select Percentage. That's OK. Click OK. Now let's scroll down and use this joint probability table to calculate some probabilities. Now I went ahead and typed out some probabilities. You can hit pause and type this out. 
The first probability is the probability that a randomly selected American did not use YouTube. Well, that probability is in our table. Not use YouTube. And the single condition probability is in the margin. So Enter. Now we want the probability not use Facebook and use YouTube. That's a joint probability running an AND logical test. So that's definitely in our table. Not use Facebook, use YouTube. The intersection, that's our probability. Now if we're going to run an OR logical test, that's not in our table, but we can create it from our joint probability table. Since there's two events and there is overlap, we add the two probabilities and subtract the AND of both probabilities. So equals and from the margin, not use Facebook, plus from the margin, use YouTube, and we subtract the intersection. That's the AND logical test, 23%. And so when we hit Enter, we get 89% who did not use Facebook or used YouTube. Now if we want a conditional probability, not use YouTube, given that they don't use Facebook, well, it's this second event right here that determines the sample space. So from the margin, that is going to be our denominator. And in the numerator will be the intersection of the two events. So equals 8% divided by 31%. And when I hit Enter, I get the conditional probability of 25.81%. Now here's your bonus for this video. We're going to copy this Control C, and then below, Control V. And above this temporarily messy table, we're going to type Old School. Because this is going to be a history lesson of how we used to create joint probability tables with formulas. Now let's highlight and delete these formulas. And in the top cell, we have to create a single formula and manually copy it down and over. In the top left cell, equal, and we go up and from the top left cell of the frequency distribution, we get as a relative cell reference the top frequency. So this relative cell reference, as we copy down and over, will get each one of the frequencies. Now we divide by the 200, and we lock it with the F4 key. Now we Control Enter, and I manually copy it down, click and drag. I'm going to point to the Smart tag, click, and then click on Fill without formatting. That's copying only the formula. Now let's click and drag to the side. Same thing over here, Smart Tag, Fill without formatting. Go to the diagonally furthest one away and hit F2. We're verifying that the formula is correct. So that's sort of a hassle, although before spilled array formulas, we didn't know it was a hassle. We were happy to do a formula like this. But that is ridiculously easy compared to the old school method. All right, so in this video, we saw how to use the old school and the dynamic spilled array formula to create a joint probability table from a cross-tab frequency distribution. And we saw how to create a joint probability table using a pivot table and show values as from a data set. And we started it off by talking about the nuts and bolts of joint probability tables. All right, next video, we'll use what we learned in this video and last video to talk about the multiplication law of probability. All right, we'll see you next video.